So a bunch of the expats and wives got together and were going across the island on a very long drive to the, I think you pronounce it, Fidon Beach Resort up in Antiki. Spelled antique, but it's called Antiki. The beach resort's owned by a expat, I believe German, and the food was quite yummy. Let's take a look around the place, but first, let's get there. We had a high-level planning meeting at Vikings, or we just all met for lunch, and somehow this came out of lunch, the idea to go on this trip. James from Texas Filipino put this together. I would not have had this many people, because this was a bunch of people to take. But it was fun. Uh, we made a stop here on the mountain at this coffee shop with a very yappy dog. Yappy dogs should not be tied up with the customers. But hey, you know, welcome to the Philippines. Beautiful view. Nice little place to sit for a minute, stretch our legs, have a drink. Uh, gorgeous views. The mountains across here are just lovely. Uh, once you cross over the mountains, you got rice fields, some mountains very nearby, and then on the other side of the road, almost immediately, is beaches. It's very cool. Year of the monkey! <laughs> yeah, it was one of those weekends. It was really fun. This is our room. There are individual little rooms. They got the fr nice front porch, got an outlet outside. So you know a foreigner designed this place. The rooms are not giant, but they're serviceable. Smile, you're on candid camera. Hello. Oh, there's the little mini fridge. We need to plug that in. There's a, that's a little TV, but we're not here to watch TV. Fan. Aircon is behind the door, which is a weird place for it. And let's look at this CR. The cloth light fixture hanging in the shower was kind of odd but it looked nice i actually wouldn't mind one at the house but i don't think i would put it in my shower decent sized bathroom good enough plumbing fixtures everything worked how it's supposed to work and there's some very cool paintings on the wall the only problem we had was everyone i was talking about like just some small issues little water leaks here and there just some small stuff nothing major but they need a little more maintenance we get the impression the owner seems a little tired and one of the staff who shall remain nameless said the owner's very tired and is just kind of done with it and that's unfortunate because this is a very cool place it just needs a little you know tender love and care it's got a nice pool, nice little bar, bunch of places for the girls to get pictures because you know they love pictures. But there were, I think it was five couples and then one guy. So there was like 11 of us on here. While they were playing pool, we were hanging out at the bar, having a couple quiet drinks and talking, and solving all the world's problems. Our first day here, we showed up all at once and ordered lunch, and it was two hours to get the food because there were too many of us showing up at once. So after that, we had to place our orders in advance and tell them what time we were coming, and then it was fine because as you can see, there's a lot of us. Their schnitzel was very good. 
Some of the other stuff was, you know, decent. But I ended up getting the schnitzel like three times this weekend because it was really good schnitzel. There you go. Huge, huge undeveloped front yard. This entrance goes on forever. The resort's kind of all right by the beach. And this whole big area here, I don't know what the plan ever was or is for it, but it is huge. This is the size property I would like to have, but I don't think I can afford it. We're getting pictures taken because we're getting in the trucks and going on a trip for the day. That will be another video at Malampati Cold Springs. James has already put his videos on the Texas Filipino channel, so you've probably already seen them. But I'm very slow on getting videos out right now. We'll talk about that in a video next week, maybe. Walkie walkie face. Walkie face. Walkie. Jump, jump. <laughs> they should do like this too. <laughs> they said jump, jump. You can do like that. Yeah. Yes. Just like that. One. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, guys. One, two, one, two three, three. Four. Like that. All of you. Oh my one, God. two, three. Let me yeah. smile. <laughs> like that, like that. Last, last. One, one two, two, three. Hands up. One, two, three. Hands up. Hands up. Okay. Hands, up. Hands up, guys. Come on. Oh, yay. The resort is out pretty much by itself. There's very little around here. And it gets really, really private. So it's very nice. It's facing the right direction, so the sunsets are just as pretty as Boracay. We're actually only an hour or so from Boracay. We're very near Boracay. We're up on the north end of the island. As you can see, there's like no next door neighbors. We've got a decent little beach area. It's not quite the white sand beach of Boracay, but it's pretty nice. And we just kind of wandered around getting a bunch of pictures and films. There's, there's a few other families here, but not many. And even if this place was full, it wouldn't really be crowded. It's a big enough place that it can handle all the people. It's very nice. I do recommend it. I think we paid about $2,000 or $2,500 a night, $40, $50 something per night. A little bit high for not being on Boracay, but it's a very nice place. Good sized place, nice restaurant, nice bar, nice pool. You know, I think it's worth the money. It's just kind of funny driving this far and not going to Boracay. There are some fishermen next door. I never saw what house they came from, but there are a few houses up and down there. All the boats came in, so we're just kind of watching them work. So I've got... Uh, this trip has, I think, two or three more videos coming because we made a lot of stops and each stop needs to be its own video. I was going to make just one video for the whole thing, but it would have been 45 minutes long. So this is the resort. We had a very nice time here. The aircon worked great. Shower was wonderful. Really strong pressure. Good hot water. The food at the restaurant was good. Drinks were pretty cheap. So as far as the resort goes, we had a really good time. Needs a little, you know, touch up maintenance, but other than that, it was very nice. And we'll be heading out to Malampati Cold Springs tomorrow. Fun, fun, fun. Enjoy your day in paradise. <laughs>